That's what he does. Darren Blackwell's still amused by the fact that he's baffled his doctors. He's thought to be the only person in the world to have developed both leukaemia and another very rare form of cancer. Not just develop, but recover, and his doctors can't believe it. It's been quite funny, really, watching people who've trained for years and then worked for years and years be confused over someone. It's quite funny. But two months ago, it was very different. After four bone marrow transplants, doctors said the family should prepare to say goodbye. Darren's mum was amazed when her 14-year-old son, she says, was the voice of reason. He said, it'll be all right. It, it, it'll all work out in the end. It doesn't matter. You know, don't be upset because it, it, it doesn't help. I said, all right, voice of reason, as Darren usually is. And, and I think it was then that I actually, I actually felt and I said to him, you know, you can go now. But Darren fought back. He's now producing white blood cells and medical staff say they're really hopeful about his future. He says he's been helped by a celebrity following, touched by Darren's story. Weekly bedside visits from comedian Russell Howard, the stars from Birds of a Feather and the comedy duo Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. For now, though, Darren says he's just taking each day as it comes. Lots of stuff can happen. Lots of stuff will happen. It's going to get better. It can't get any worse, really. Here you go. <laughs> As a family, the Blackwells are now for the first time excited about the future. And Darren can plan ahead. Though for the moment, that just involves what colour to dye his hair next. Charlotte Grant, Channel 5 News.